All right, here we go with chapter seven, part five. I believe it's part five. Um, Mrs. Piggle Wiggle's magic, and then never want to go to schooler. Let's see what happens with Jody. Julie came out from the hedge and pushed him rudely away from the tree. Oh, go and hide, dummy, she said. I'll be it. She covered her eyes and began. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Jody sat down by the hedge and stared vacantly up at the sky. After a long time, he noticed that there was no one around him, that everyone had apparently gone home. So he went into the house. The family were at dinner. His mother said, where in the world have you been? The other children came in half an hour ago. Now go upstairs and wash and hurry. Jody went upstairs, but he couldn't remember what he had come upstairs for and went back down again to dinner. There's a picture of him hiding at the tree. He sat down next to Jan, picked up a spoon and began eating. Jan said, what are you eating with a spoon for, baby? Jody said, what's a spod? Jan said, and Julie laughed. Jan and Julie laughed. Mrs. Jones said, how do you feel tonight, Jody? Pain's all gone? Jody repeated after him, pad's all good. Mrs. Jones said, you sound as if you have a cold. Jody said, I'd web enough. Julie said, daddy asked if you had a cold. Jody said, I got cold. Jan said, gosh, what is going on with you? Mr. and Mrs. Jones looked at each other meaning, meaningly. After the dessert, Mr. Jones said, let's all play what Johnny has in his pocket. I'll start. Johnny has a ball of string in his pocket. Linda, who was next, said, Johnny has a ball of string and a worm in his pocket. Julie said, Johnny has a ball of string, a worm, and an apple in his pocket. Mrs. Jones said, Johnny has a ball of string, a worm, an apple, and a knife in his pocket. Jan said, Johnny has a ball of string, a worm, an apple, a knife, and a nail in his pocket. Jody said, Johnny has a, Johnny has a ball of string, prompted Linda. Jody began, Johnny has a ball of string, a, uh, a, uh, and a worm, said Linda. Johnny has a berm, said Linda, and said Jody, and looked around proudly. Jan said, oh, let's leave this one out of the game. Come on, Daddy. Mr. Jones said, come on, Jody. Johnny has a ball of string, a worm, an apple, a knife, and a nail in his pocket. Jody said, I can't, can't remember ball of that. I don't want to pay. He began to cry, and Mrs. Jones sent him to bed. The next morning, Jody didn't have to pretend that he was sick because when he woke up, the other children had already gone to school. Jody got dressed, went downstairs, but he couldn't find his mother. He called and called, but nobody answered. So he went over to the house. He went all over the house looking for his mother. He even looked under the beds and behind the furnace, but he couldn't find her. When he came back to the kitchen, he found a piece of paper sticking in the refrigerator door. It said, Dear Jody. And then there was some other more writing, but Jody couldn't read it. He began to cry. Then there was a knock at the back door. Jody wiped his eyes on his sleeve and opened the door. The laundry man said, is your mother home, Jody? Jody said, do I don't know, and I haven't do her. And he began to cry. The laundry man said, didn't she leave you a note? Jody said, yes, but I can't beat it. The laundry man said, let me see it. Jody handed him the piece of paper, and the laundry man read it. Dear Jody, I'm going to the grocery store. Your medicine is in, and your orange juice are in the refrigerator. There are sausages and toast in the oven. I'll be home in a little while. Mother. P.S. Be sure to tell the laundry man that the laundry is in the basement. Jody thanked the laundry man, took his medicine, and ate his breakfast. Then he went out to the treehouse, but he kept forgetting which end of the hammer to use. He couldn't remember where to keep they keep the nails. He forgot where they were going to put the window. He couldn't measure the boards because he couldn't count or read numbers. 
So he climbed down and just sat on the grass until Julie, Jan, Linda, and Linda came home. Hi, said Jan. How is the old Jody this morning? Jody said, I dot dubby. Julie said, let's hear you count to ten then. Jody said, I don't want to. Julie said, you mean you can't? Jody said, I don't dumby. Linda mocked him. I don't dumby. I don't dumby. Jody began to cry, and the other children went to lunch, just as Mrs. Jones came back from the store. All right, so it sounds like maybe Jody is realizing he might need to go back to school. What do you think is going to happen in the last part of the story? Make a prediction, and I'll see you next time.